Google just released some of the biggest updates that we've ever seen, both to Notebook LM and to Gemini. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know what all those changes are and how you can implement them because all these features just got way more customizable and got some massive upgrades. Now, Notebook LM update number one is you now have chat history. So if we come over here and we say something to this notebook right here, in the past, what you would have to do in order to have chat history is you would have to come over here and you would actually have to save all of these as notes. Now, I would still recommend that if you like a chat that you're having with Notebook OM, you should save it to a note. But now what you're going to see is you could actually come out of this, you could come back into this, and your chat is still going to be here. In addition to that, if you wanted to, you'll be able to refresh your chat up here, which is incredibly powerful. But do note, this is going to go through and actually clear your chat history. So only do this if you've already saved things as notes and you don't want to see your chat history anymore. But that was just change number one. Change number two is now if we come over here to the top left hand side, you can see that you could do fast research, which is something that you've always been able to do with Notebook OM, or you could do deep research. So now you can do deep research inside of Notebook OM. So let's actually check this out. We're going to come over here and we're going to create something about uh, AI agent. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click on discover. I'm going to click on deep research. I'm going to type in AI agents and we could see right here that we could have this do deep research very similar to Gemini or to ChatGPT. We could have it do deep research across the web or across my Google Drive. I'm going to have it do it across the web and I'm going to do actually building AI agents for beginners. And then what this is going to go through and do is this is actually going to go through, this is going to do deep research, and that is where these sources are going to come from, as opposed to them just coming from some random place. Now, if we open up a new notebook LM window right here, I want to show you what this looked like in the past. So in the past, you would be able to come over here, you would be able to click on discover sources right here, and you would just be able to find things really quickly. For example, I'm going to type in AI agents for beginners. And we would see that this would just do like really quick research and it wouldn't be super in-depth research. But now with deep research, it's actually gonna allow you to get way better answers. As we can see right here, this literally goes through a bunch of different steps. So we could see right here that step number one out of five is complete. And we could see that this is now going through doing all the research. Step number one was going to be the planning phase. And then it goes through, does all the research, and then it's going to give you all of these different sources. And again, it gives you way more sources than just what this fast research does, where it only gave us seven more resources. So I'm actually going to import all of these in right here, but we could see it didn't give me too many, but deep research is going to give me way more. Now, as we can see here, deep research is done and we can actually click into this and we could see that this cited 34 different searches and this actually went through and did this deep research, which is pretty awesome here. So I'm going to import this over here and we could see this gives me way more than just doing fast research. So depending on what you're actually trying to learn, what you're trying to create a notebook around, this is actually a way better way to do this. Now, before I get into the rest of those features that are only going to get crazier and crazier, I wanted to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day, and you're not going to want to miss them if you want to learn how to automate your work or how to take advantage of this AI revolution. Now, in addition to that, if we come into Notebook LM's latest actually research right here, and we scroll down, we could see you can now upload information in more file types. So you can now add in Google Sheets, you can now add in drive files as URLs. You can now add in images, for example, photo of your handwritten notes or a brochure that you got. You can now upload PDFs from Google Drive and you can now upload Microsoft Word documents. Now, these are all brand new. This literally just came out on November 13th, which was yesterday. In addition to that, another thing that just came out is if we pull Notebook LM back up, you will be able to see that you can now do video customization here. And audio customization. So if we click on audio right here, you will be able to come over here and actually tell it exactly what you want to focus on. So in the past, you were only able to choose between deep dive, brief, critique, and debate. But now when you click into each of these, you'll be able to see that you could add in custom instructions here, which is incredibly powerful. So you could do that for audio overview. That came out like a week or two ago. And the video overview one just came out now. So we could see that we could do an explainer video overview 
We could do a brief video overview and we could come over here and we could either auto select what the visual is going to look like. We could go through all these other different visuals or we could actually describe to this how we want this to look. For example, we could have it target a specific use case. We could have it focus on a specific source or we could have it describe the actual show structure and this will go through and we could customize what that actually looks like. In addition, up here, you'll see that you can now customize just chat. Again, this came out like last week, but I did want to emphasize this if you haven't seen it before. We can now define what the conversational goal, style, or role is. For example, if you're trying to learn or if you're trying to do something custom, you could customize this. For example, if you're doing something at a PhD level or you want it to do something as a certain role. For example, pretend to be a role-playing game host. And then we could also come down here and we could choose the default response length. Personally, I like it to be shorter because I think it just has it be way more concise, but you can now configure all this. You can now customize all of this, which is incredibly powerful. In addition to that, another thing that just got released, this isn't with Notebook LM, but this is with Gemini, is if you now come over to flows.workspace.google.com, you will be able to automate your work with AI agents. And this right here is absolutely insane. I cannot believe that they actually release this. So there are a few different ways that you can use this. The first way is you can come over here and describe what task you want to automate with Gemini, and then it literally goes through, builds out the agent for you. Or you could build your own agent if you wanted to by clicking on this plus sign right here. We could see exactly how this works. So you have a starter right here, which is going to be your trigger. You could have this happen on a specific schedule. You could have this happen when certain actions happen. For example, if we come back over here and we click in a starter, so you could have this start when you get an email, when you get a chat message, when you get a form response, when you get a meeting, when a file is edited, when an item is added to a folder, when a sheet changes. For example, if somebody adds a row to a sheet or something like that, this can then trigger all of these different automations to happen. In addition to that, if we come over into Discover right here and we scroll down, you will see that they have tons of these already custom built. For example, if you want to get a daily summary of all your unread emails, you simply just click on this. You could come over here and customize when it will actually happen on the schedule. You could customize what this action is going to look like and what the prompt is, and you can have it focus on specific things. And then you can have this go through and actually notify you wherever you want. You could have it notify you in a chat. You could have it notify you pretty much however you want. Now, in addition to that, if we come over here, I did want to show you a few other actions that you can do. So I showed you what Choose Starter looks like. If we click on choose step, this will also show you like what can happen. So you can have it ask Gemini, you could have it ask a gem, you could have it recap all your unread emails, you could have it extract things, you could have it decide, you could have it summarize. There are tools, so you, we go into logic, we go into filters, we go into webhooks, and then you can also have it take action on Gmail, on chat, on sheets, on drive, on calendar, on docs, inside of Google Tasks, and then they also have some outside custom alpha integrations here. They have it with Asana, they have it with Confluence, they have it with Jira, they have it with MailChimp, and they have it with QuickBooks and Salesforce. Now, I think that they're rapidly going to be rolling out more integrations here, but what I would strongly recommend that you do is come in here, come under Discover, see what things they already have preset that you want to automate. For example, if we come over here to My Agents, I can show you a few that I already have set up here. First and foremost, I have certain emails being labeled with specific action items. For example, I get a lot of sponsor requests, so I have that set up here. In addition to that, we could see that I'm getting a daily summary of my emails. We could see that I get pre-meeting briefs and chat. For example, if I have a meeting with somebody, it goes through all my email, all my Google Drive, all the calendar notes, and uses Gemini to actually do research. It sends me summaries and action items after meetings, and then I also have this notify me about urgent emails. For example, emails that have a certain keyword in it. For example, something like refund or something like... Uh, your account's about to lose status or your billing failed, something like that, you could have it notify you of all of those specific things and all those things that actually matter. For example, I have a bunch of different make automations set up. Sometimes they fail, so I have it set up so I get urgent emails about that. So I get pinged on chat, which I have notifications on on my phone. So those things actually go through and I don't end up missing them. And then as a result, I don't have to have anxiety all day because I have all these agents set up. Now, I still have a ton of these that I have to go through and set up, but you could see exactly what this looks like right here. In addition to that, if we click into activity right here, this will actually show you all of the different activities that have happened. It's basically a log for everything that's happened. And this is incredibly important for debugging things, 
wondering why things didn't happen. And we could see right here that this data is available for all 40 days. We could come over here and all these different types. For example, complete in progress had issues. And this right here is crazy because now Google lets you automate your work. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI. And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new website that allows you to clone any app or any website that you want in just a few minutes. I'll see you over there.